They say that humanity was pushed to the very brink of extinction during the Great Carter War. Who's to say that when confronted with the danger of annihilation, that even someone praised as a great hero would make the wrong choice? I believe that we should dismantle our program and have nothing further to do with Sentinels. This could shake the foundation of the royal family. In that case, I suppose we should classify Sentinel-related matters as top secret, even within the military. If the royal family falls, we lose our moral authority in this war. I must say, Xuanzite is a terrifying man. There can't be many ancient records remaining that deal with Guardians. How did he get his hands on the Sentinel manufacturing process? I'm still unclear on that myself. How did he get that information? I was given this letter for you, sir. Very well. You may go. Continue what you are doing, eh? What's your game? Ah, uh, well, it's nothing to fret over. I simply need to direct this war according to plan. And the rest will take care of itself. Bum, bum, bum. That's all of it, sir. I was unable to determine the identity of the message's sender. It's odd, all right. Alex has hardly been speaking up at all during council meetings lately. He's just sitting there, observing, with a look in his eyes like he already knows how everything will play out. He isn't that sort of man, and yet... If you like, sir, I can conduct further investigations into the message addressed to Lord Alex. No, don't. Digging any deeper would be too risky. It would appear that we need to pay close attention to Alex's activities from now on. You still awake? So are you. True enough. I just can't seem to fall asleep. So, what are you gonna do after this? Stay here for the rest of your life? I... I don't know yet. I never imagined that Melissa could have joined the Northern Forces. To tell you the truth, I'm jealous of you. Huh? Shouldn't you just be happy that your friend is alive? But why the Northern Forces of all things? And when Melissa invited me to join them... Was she telling me to come to where Elgar is? I wonder what she's thinking. Does she truly believe that the Northern forces are in the right? Our island was destroyed, and she herself was nearly killed. I just don't get it. You'll just have to ask her in person. <sighs> At the very least, it sounds like this Melissa person doesn't want to fight you. Why don't you try telling her how you feel? I wonder if I can convince her. I'd already made up my mind that I'd never go over to the Northern Forces, no matter what happened. I'd finally begun to feel like I'd found a place where I really belonged. What were your impressions of him? Nothing, really. He was... just Juto. He seemed to have grown up since I saw him last, though. True. He will eventually return to us. More importantly, the Northern Forces have withdrawn from Highwind Island, haven't they? Oh. Oh, that's right. Your main concern was always Highwind Island, wasn't it? I make it a point to keep my promises. You 
will continue to fight for the Northern forces, won't you? I have such high hopes for your talents. I'm... I'm not fighting for the sake of the Northern forces. I just... I chose the Northern forces because I want to end this war as soon as possible. Don't read anything more into it. <laughs> yes. Yes, I know. Lady Claire, we caught her! This is the woman who escaped from prison and caused the disturbances. We lost ten men in the process. My goodness, what is your name? You're not gonna let me walk out of here alive, so what's the point of asking my name? Hurry up and kill me! <laughs> I was the one who found you lying there half dead after Algar was through with you. I won't kill you. What? Why? Why would you... I had heard rumors of a powerful female warrior on Highwind Island. That's why. That is you, yes? <gasps> of course, it is a shame that your island found itself in such straits. But what if I told you that right is on our side? What did you say? Once you know the truth, I think it will all make sense. Huh? Good morning! Did you sleep well? Today is the day a comrade who has been stationed in Belfort is scheduled to return. Let's go to Abazet's gate and greet her. Who is it? Is it a new fellow counter-sentinel uniter? The comrade's name is Rue. Oh, that jerk is finally back! Jerk? <sighs> Wow! What's she like? She's adorable. What about that jerk is adorable? I believe Rue is the one we saw in the opening cutscene. New goods in stock. Yeah. Alright. We have new weapons and items that are even bigger and better than before. And now we have condition enhancement items as well. By all means, come down and pay a visit to our shop. I will do that. Thank you. I'm sorry to have trouble you, Celestine. When we Blue Moon Trewa fought the Blackhorn Trewa, the damage to our homeland was devastating. The villager Villagers advocated destroying the black horns, but I wouldn't accept that. I tried to find a peaceful solution as possible, as possible. But then they fell in league with the Schwenzite and destroyed our village utterly. Their survivors blamed me vehemently. Perhaps I should have con conceded to their wishes. If we had eradicated the black horn trail while, perhaps our homeland would still exist. But just because a force opposes you does not necessarily make it evil. Is it right to un illiterately in whatever decide that something is to be annihilated? Our feud remains undecided. In any case, you have my gratitude. I think Argo's taking a liking to Celestine, even though she's like 12 and he's 16. It's not creepy at all. Let's check out some new weapons. Oh, a quest. Oh man, getting weapons. Screw quests. Like no money. Check the accessories first. Wow, that's a lot of uh, stuff. Mental power, 
was like. I think I saw these last time. That's a pretty good one handed sword. Pretty awesome looking two-handed sword. 